Well, good morning. It is so great to be back after a week of chilling out with my girls. We had a great time, and thanks again to Sean for uh, covering for me for the 5-7 so I could get away for a week. And that's what we do here. We cover for each other. I'll be covering his show uh, in the next few weeks. So anyway, uh, big, busy news day today. Uh, so now we have Omicron, the new variant that's coming out of South Africa. Uh, some countries have already shut down their borders. I think it's Israel, Morocco, and a couple of others have shut down their borders and said nobody at all, no travelers at all may come in. Uh, Fauci was on the television over the weekend hyping this thing, uh, basically saying, we don't know, but you better be, you better be afraid. Well, you know, it could be serious. We don't know if it is serious or not. That's kind of the point. But he said, prepare for the worst, prepare for the worst, but we don't know. Get a booster, but we don't think the shots are going to be effective against it. <sighs> this is the way he's run the whole thing, and this is why he gets a lot of criticism. And he's lied and perjured himself, in my view, in front of Congress. It should be brought up on charges of perjury, but it's not going to happen because you know why. Uh, Democrats and liberals live by a separate set of rules than do the rest of us. So it's, he's never going to be brought up on perjury. But you just can't listen to the guy anymore because you have no idea whether he's telling the truth. We don't know how bad this is going to be, but be scared. Um, you can choose to live your life in fear if you want to, but I think uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's an ill-advised course to live your life in fear. Other people in the news today, you got uh, Matthew McConaughey saying, I'm not going to run for governor. I told you he wasn't going to run for governor. You know why? Because when you actually get into politics, then you have to have opinions. McConaughey doesn't have any opinions. So there you go. And uh, Greg Abbott says the power will stay on if we have another cold uh, winter, that ERCOT is ready and he signed legislation and all that. Well, it better. And the reason it better is because we had people freeze to death in their homes last time. And, Governor, that's the kind of thing that can cost you your career. So, uh, yeah, the power needs to stay on. There was no excuse for last year happening. Uh, the state went all green. Local power companies like uh, uh, Paula Gold Williams here with CPS, they went all green and didn't take care of what they should have been taking care of. And so hopefully if we have another cold winter this winter, that we're going to be ready for it. So this is just some of the news. There's a whole bunch of other things that we're going to get into this morning until 9 o'clock. It's great to be back. I'll see you on the radio.